My brother, Karibu. Asante, asante sana. Safina Hoye. Safina Hoye. Asante ni sana. Tafadhali ketini chini. <clears throat> My brother Jimmy Wanjigi and the Safina Fraternity. I am here this afternoon to share with you this very important moment when you unveil this great Kenyan to compete in the next general election. My friend Jimmy, congratulations for the honor Safina has given to you by giving you their ticket to compete in the next general election. Pongezi sana. And welcome to the competition. Competition brings the best out of all of us. And my coming here this afternoon is out of the realization that um, by competing, the best gets the opportunity to give us the way into the future. We have had challenges in the past of uh, competitors who do not believe in democracy. But as I witness this occasion this afternoon, I can confirm that Safina, having made huge contribution to the democratic space in our country, you have presented a candidate that believes in democracy. I take the opportunity this afternoon to congratulate Safina as a party because you leave a trail of democratic gains in our country. Our democratic space would not be what it is why it not for men and women who belong to this party who purposefully made huge sacrifices so that Kenya can be truly democratic. To Safina Party, Pongezi Sana. Congratulations. Let me say two things, one about Jimmy and one about your party leader. Your party leader, Paul Muite, when I was first elected in 1997, and I came to parliament, I was 31 then, and I met Paul Muite in parliament. And I remember a fundamental lesson Paul Muite taught me. He told me, young man, I see you are very enthusiastic about supporting your party. But I want to tell you, the best way to support your party is to criticize it when it goes wrong. That was a fundamental lesson to me. That you must never be a psychophant. You must never support the wrong things. Then when time comes for you to say what is right, if your party is not doing the right thing, you should stand up and say so. Thank you very much, Paul Muite. That lesson has really helped me in my political journey. Jimmy Wanjiki is a great friend. I have worked with him. He has done many things for me and for our team. Uh, you remember when, I was, uh, when we were in the UDA and NDC, I did disclose that President Uhuru Kenyatta and I, when we decided that we want to re-engineer 
the politics of our nation by walking away from what was standard that this community cannot work with this community because of this reason and that reason. The only third person that was in that meeting was Jimmy Wanjiki. And I remember telling him in our NDC that he still keeps the original agreement signed between me and Uhuru Kenyatta. So I don't know when, Jimmy, you are going to deliver that uh, so that I can, keep it, I can keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> but having said that, I have listened um, to Jimmy, and I have heard Safina Fagia eh? Wote. And so I was asking Jimmy, while seated there, this Fagia Wote, our, there, there are some who are being swept out. I'm sure there are some who are being swept in. So in the, pro <laughs> in the process of Fagia Wote, I hope you will sweep our competitors out and sweep all your friends in. Um, let me say just a few things. I have listened to the statement made by Jimmy Wanjiki, and one statement struck me, and that statement is about personalities versus the people. That is the statement that struck me. And that defines the moment where we are in the history of our nation. There is competition between personalities and personality cults and personality politics vis-a-vis -vis the people and the institutions that facilitate the people to participate. There are two sides to this competition and the clarity, the difference between the two sides to this competition is like the clarity between day and night. Our competitors believe this is a constitutional moment. We believe, together with Safina, that this is an economic moment in the history of our country. Our competitors believe that this is a constitutional moment because they want to change the constitution to create jobs so that leaders can benefit. We believe it is an economic moment to change the economy, create jobs so that millions of young people and millions of Kenyans can have access to jobs. They believe, our competitors, this is a constitutional moment to change the constitution so that you can give the president more power to undermine the legislature by appointing ministers from the legislature. We believe this is an economic moment to create access to close to 15 million Kenyans who today operating in the space of micro and small enterprise, they have no access to credit and therefore their struggles are harder. We believe changing the economy to create credit for millions of young people is not about leaders, it's about the people. They want to create an opportunity to benefit leaders, benefit members of parliament who already have jobs to be appointed to be ministers. The dichotomy is as clear as day is night. They are looking for jobs for MPs, we are looking for credit for ordinary people the ones at the bottom of the pyramid.
They believe this is an economic moment to create an ombudsman so that we can undermine the independence of the judiciary, which is the language of rulers and despots and dictators. We believe this is a moment, an economic moment, to create economic freedom so that every citizen can operate in a space that respects the rule of law. Good people, they believe and they have facilitated the corruption of the political system to merge the opposition and the government, creating an unaccountable system that promotes conflict of interest, that promotes state capture, that promotes corruption, and that benefits only the corrupt. We believe, as the people of Kenya, that proper political formations with clear checks and balances that respects different political formations with a governing party and an opposition party creates accountability, better use of national resources, and ultimately benefits every citizen and creates a country that leaves nobody behind. So, this contest is as clear and the sides are as clear as day is from the night. And that's why I came here because Safina shares the same belief in an economic moment in this election the way UDA does. <clears throat> Finally, na pengine nitasema kwa Kiswahili. Um, tulijenga serikali na tumejenga reli. Tukajenga barabara karibu kilomita 1000. Tukaunganisha stima watu milioni nane na nusu kufikia sasa. Tukatengeneza technical training colleges sasa tumefikisha moja hamsini Kenya. Lakini mahali nimeketi leo naamini serikali tunayotengeneza kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na wale wote ambao tunakubaliana ya kwamba wakati huu ni wakati wa uchumi ni ile serikali ambayo itaweka pesa kwa mfuko ya mwananchi wa kawaida na njia ya kuweka pesa kwa mfuko ya mwananchi wa kawaida ni kuhakikisha kwamba wale vijana karibu milioni ine, Jimmy amesema hapa watu milioni tano plus out of that 5 million kati ya hawa wa Kenya ambao hawana ajira milioni tano, milioni ine ni vijana na njia ya kuweka pesa kwa mfuko ya hawa vijana ni kuwapangia ajira. Na ndio tumesema kupitia kwa kubadilisha uchumi tunapanga kuweka pesa katika sekta ya housing, manufacturing, value addition, agro processing ili tuhakikisha kwamba vijana wanapata ajira tuweke pesa katika mifuko yao wajisimamie wasimamie familia zao na wajenge taifa letu it doesn't matter how much you change the constitution until you have a program to create jobs you will never change this country tunasema ya kwamba njia ya kuweka pesa kwa mfuko ya mwananchi ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila biashara biashara ya wale walio chini micro and small enterprises 
ambazo zina account for 80% ya wafanyabiashara wote Kenya ambao leo wanaangaishwa na fuliza na wanaangaishwa na Mashailok tuwe na credit system ambayo itawawezesha badala ya kulipa 10% per day vile wanafanya saa hizi walipe 10% per year kama makampuni zingine zote na kama inawezekana kwa sababu wao ni biashara ndogo ndogo vile ya kuhakikisha kwa wanalipa less than 5% per day na bila ya kuwauliza mambo ya ma security mambo ya ma, mambo mengine because there is always a way where you can create security without the security that we all know of title deeds and other things so i share this moment with safina and i want to ask the membership of this great party to work with us as the party leader has said we will work together going into the future because we share in the vision of our country going into the future this is not my day this was the day of safina and the day of my brother jimmy wanjigi my good brother jimmy i wish you well in your journey i have seen you leave your good office i have seen you traverse this country i have seen you during the good times i have seen you during the bad times and i am confident that you are made of good metal Pongezi sana my brother Jim you are a comrade walking together into the future Asanteni sana and God bless you Thank you Jim Asante sana Asante sana Makofi kwa deputy rais Makofi you are made, made of good metal. Asante, and so are you, my brother. Asante ni sana. God bless you. Asante. God bless you. Thank you, my brother. Asante. Makofi.